Hi guys, I am here to do my 37 week pregnancy vlog. Um, I am finally full term, I am so excited. Um, but again, he could arrive two weeks after my due date. Um, I did talk to my midwife um, at my appointment and we did go over induction if it was necessary. Um, my mom had me and my um, other sister late and she was induced with her um, induced early with her third. Um, so there is a possibility that I could go over. Um, so we'll, we, we'll see. I did ask her and she said that if they were going to induce they would do it somewhere between the 18th and 20th of February. So I feel like I still have like forever to go. Um, but hopefully he'll come around his due date so I don't have to wait that long. Um, my boyfriend is set on him coming on the 2nd. He thinks he's just going to arrive on the Super Bowl because... I don't know because <laughs> he wants to watch it I guess I, I don't know um, we'll see though um, I have been having a lot of contractions and Braxton Hicks of course nothing contraction wise has been constant or um, regular or anything like that just um, really random some will keep me up at night for a while um, and then not turn into anything of course but hey I guess that's just what happens it's nice knowing that my body is preparing though um, so when it does come time it getting a little feel for what's going on so I'm hoping I know what to be induced so th that's a good sign um yeah I'm only 37 weeks and I probably shouldn't be worrying about that but hey it's in the back of my mind I've been having really strange dreams um as I have in the past very realistic um I've also had some back pain as well getting out of bed is still difficult um I don't think that's gonna get any easier until a few weeks postpartum um because after I give birth then I'm gonna have those issues um getting out of bed as well so a few weeks postpartum I think will be back to normal um so we'll see about that I also received my pertussis vaccination, um, so that was fun, <laughs> not really, but um, my arm was definitely heavy and hurt a lot after that, um, other than a few hours, and, like the next day it hurt really bad, um, but I'm glad I got it because then this way when he's like two months old or so, I won't, I won't feel the need to have to get it for him because he has already gotten it from um, me getting the shot, so that's a plus. We also went and had our car seats checked by the fire department um, to make sure that they're in there properly and a lot of people think that's strange. However, safety is key um, and you can't, um, your, son, your child won't be safe in their car seat if it's not properly installed into the vehicle. Um, the car seat can only do so much and um, being properly installed does help so make sure you, you know, you research things like that and you know, with it being winter time, you're not supposed to be putting your child in a car seat with a huge winter jacket on or one of those bundle um, snowsuit type things that they have for infants. Um, look into different alternatives like the JJ Cole car seat cover or just any car seat cover, blankets, um, things like that. So people think I'm strange, but whatever. Um, looking into all that is important. Um, so we did have our car seats checked so they are properly and safely installed into our vehicle. So that's a great relief. Um, my hospital bags are almost packed. I think I'm done, but I'm not sure. Like, I don't know what to bring. So if you guys have any suggestions on things that you think I should bring, um, just leave them below. I'm going to finish packing that and do a hospital bag, or what's in my hospital bag, um, shortly. So look out for that. I've um, been feeling some pressure down below when I'm walking. Um, it's not anything like to be concerned about I guess um just like it's not like oh my god I'm gonna have a baby type of pressure it's just like pressure from his head being there um I'm assuming <laughs> um but yes I've had that uh he's also had the hiccups a ton like normal once or twice a day and his movements are nice and big you can see a foot or my knee go across my um stomach like I've said in the past um, and that's really it for right now. I have my next appointment on the Friday, which is the 24th, I believe, is my next extra appointment. Um, so I will definitely update you guys. I'll probably make my vlog that day so I can update you on what happens um, at the doctor's office. I'm debating on whether or not I want to get checked. Oh, I'm so like back and forth with it like I want to do everything as natural as possible um, and things like that however I also want to know are these contractions that I've been having like 
some are more painful than others. Have they done anything? Am I like half a centimeter or something? Um, I like to know how soft my cervix is. <laughs> if we need to help help that along or um, what needs to happen there. Um, so, but I, then again, I don't want to be checked. So it's just like such a hard, I uh, don't know what to do type thing. Um, but yeah, I will let you go. He has the hiccups. Note to self. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you guys go. Um, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. All right, so here is my 37 week belly, full term. Um, as you can see, normal tank tops don't cover anymore. Um, it is January 16, 2014. Here's with this shirt on. Here's with this shirt up. You can tell he's dropped. It's more obvious now. Looks like I'm measuring, yep, 43 currently. So that is my 37 week belly. And I just got to kick, he kicks on this side, back is on this side, and he's head down, of course. So that is my 37 week belly. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.